Hi, everyone. My name is Belinda Brinton, and I'm a family coach here at Agora. I'm also a regional literacy outreach specialist, which means one of the things that I do is I help plan literacy events for Agora. On Monday, November 13th, it's National Kindness Day. In recognition of National Kindness Day, teachers will be giving students the opportunity to make a kindness quilt. Everyone who decides to take part can color a quilt square. All of the squares that are collected will be fastened together to make a beautiful quilt, which will then hang in the main office in King of Prussia. Look for information about National Kindness Day and the Kindness Quilt to be sent to your students. Speaking of kindness and quilts, today I'm going to read The Kindness Quilt. This is by Nancy Elizabeth Wallace. One Friday at Sharing Circle, Minna helped Mrs. Bloom hold up a large green book. I love stories, Minna said. I do too, said Mrs. Bloom. I'm going to read an Aesop fable. Mrs. Bloom began reading. The Lion and the Mouse. Long ago, a tiny mouse was scampering through the jungle. By and by, he came upon a great lion snoozing in the tall grass. The mouse was feeling playful, so he plucked a blade of grass and tickled the lion's nose. Grrrr, roared the lion, grabbing the little mouse in his huge padded paw. What is this, an afternoon snack? Please, 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 don't eat me, begged the mouse. Someday I will do something nice to help you. Ha, 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 laughed the lion. You help me? He let the lion, uh, he let the mouse go and he fell back to sleep. A few weeks later, the mouse was scurrying home when he heard a terrible roar. There was his friend trapped in a net. The little mouse gnawed on the ropes with his sharp teeth and set the mighty lion free. When the story ended, Minna sat down. Then Mrs. Bloom asked, what's the moral of this fable? I know, I know, said Minna. It's about kindness. The lion let the mouse go and later the mouse helped the lion. I think they both felt happy about being kind. Tyrone said, it shows you can be kind whether you're little or whether you're big. Lindsay said, we should try to do something kind every day. Dave said, I'm kind to noodles. Yes, said Mrs. Bloom, kindness is a good thing for all of us to practice no matter how big or small we are. I know that you are all very kind, so let's celebrate kindness with a do and draw and share kindness project. That night, Minna told mom and dad and Pip, Mrs. Bloom wants us to do something kind, then make a picture about it and take the picture to school to share. It's kind of a kindness project. That's a wonderful idea, said mom. But, said Minna, I'm not sure what to do. We can help you with ideas, said dad. Early Saturday morning, before mom and dad got up, Minna read to Pip. Reading me books is a good idea for your kindness picture, P Minna, said Pip. Minna nodded, but she said, I'm still thinking. Before lunch, Minna went with mom to community cleanup day. Picking up litter in the park is being kind to our earth, said mom. This could be an idea for your kindness picture. Minna nodded, but she said, I'm still thinking. 
Later in the afternoon, Minna and Dad cooked creamy carrot soup for supper. Minna took a big jar to their neighbors. After supper, Minna got a pencil and paper. Kindness, kindness, she whispered to herself. There are lots of kinds of kindness. Dad brought Minna a snack. Yum, said Minna. Sharing the soup with Mr. and Mrs. Checker could be an idea for your kindness picture, said Dad. Minna nodded, but she said, I'm still thinking. You can use my new markers, Minna, said Pip. Thanks. Minna started writing and drawing. Later, Mom tiptoed in. She brought Minna scissors and more paper. Minna smiled. Thanks, Mom. Then Minna started cutting. On Sunday afternoon, Minna looked at what she had written and drawn and cut out. Suddenly, Minna knew what she wanted to do. She found her glue stick and she got to work. Look at some of the things that Minna made pictures of. There's taking, picking up trash, sharing soup with your neighbor, my family helping me, reading books to my little brother. On Monday, Minna took her artwork to school. She listened as Carrie, Tyrone, Kyle, and Lindsay shared pictures of their acts of kindness. Let's see what each of them made a picture of here. You can see that kindness means all different things to all different people. One of them said that kindness is sharing your toys and he made a picture of his trucks here. When it was Minna's turn, she held up her artwork. Ooh, said the class. It looks like a beautiful quilt, said Lindsay. Wow, said Tyrone. If you want to, you can make yours look like a quilt too, said Minna. Great, said Mrs. Bloom. Let's get out our art materials. Kyle, Carrie, Tyrone, Lindsay, since you shared your kindness art today, you can work on your quilt squares. Minna can help. It looks like when it's all put together, they cut and glued, they taped their acts of kindness together. Mrs. Bloom hung the paper quilt on the small bulletin board. So the finished product looks like. As days passed, more acts of kindness happened. Maya sent a card. Esteban helped his neighbor. Aman held a door open. Dave took care of noodles. And the kindness quilt grew until it overflowed the small bulletin board. There's a picture of noodles. Mrs. Bloom and the children had to move it to a big bulletin board. As more days passed, more and more acts of kindness happened. Jade Lynn was kind to Keisha. Keisha was kind to Zach. Zach was kind to AJ. AJ was kind to Minna. When the kindness quilt overflowed the big bulletin board, Mr. Cooper helped them hang the quilt on the long wall in the hall. See how big it grew, which with each act of kindness, the quilt grew bigger and bigger. Soon other classes joined. And the kindness quilt kept growing and growing and growing.
And here's what it looked like when it was all finished so far. But maybe other students added more and more with each passing year. So that is the Kindness Quilt by Nancy Elizabeth Wallace. And hopefully you'll consider taking part in Agora's Kindness Quilt. Thank you everyone for listening and enjoy National Kindness Day, November 13th. Bye-bye.